So this is um, the first video now on uh, gas transport. It's going to be a short, quick little video um, about blood cells. <clears throat> so what we're going to look at, uh, this is the uh, uh, concepts we need to know. So we're going to look at point number one and point number two um, in this video. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, different uh, types of white blood cells and we're going to look at red blood cells and then look at how red blood cells are adapted um, to transport oxygen. Okay, so there's uh, the red blood cell or picture of it. Uh, in terms of its structure, what you need to know is that it's a biconcaved disc. That means it looks a bit like a donut. So uh, this this is sort of a, a surface view here, uh, but a side view. Um, the uh, blood cell will have a dip uh, in the middle. Okay, so it'll look a bit like this. Okay, so there's your dip in the middle. All right, so there's two top and bottom, so that's why it's called a biconcaved uh, disc. Now, um, in terms of what's inside uh, the red blood cell, uh, there's no organelles, okay, there's only haemoglobin in there, and um, that's important because if there's no organelles in there, you can fit a load of haemoglobin. Uh, so that's a sort of an adaptation uh, to the uh, function of uh, red blood cells. No organelles, just a cytoplasm filled with haemoglobin. And you can fit a load of haemoglobin in there. Uh, why is it biconcaved? Simple enough, it's there to increase the surface area um, to volume ratio. So uh, basically that allows uh, oxygen then. Uh, to diffuse into um, the red blood cell there over a large surface area. Okay, so that's the adaptations of red blood cells. To repeat, no organelles, so there's more room for haemoglobin, and a biconcaved disc, so it has a large surface area to volume ratio. Okay, um, next then are the white uh, blood cells. Now, there's different types. Uh, here's some examples, drawings of some uh, white blood cells. Um, now, what you need to be able to do really is to identify uh, what the white blood cells are from a microscope image like this one here. OK, so as you can see, most of the cells in the blood are red blood cells. OK, uh, erythrocyte there is a, the technical name for uh, red blood cell. So looking at a, a, a microscope image of a blood smear, as we call it, you'll have lots and lots of uh, red blood cells. And then you'll get the odd one or two white blood cells. OK, so the white blood cells are in a lot lower number than the red blood cells. So you won't see as many white blood cells um, in, a, in a normal blood sphere anyway. Um, the other thing that you can see in blood are these things called platelets. All right, they're important for uh, blood clotting. So, um, as you can see, the white blood cells are very obvious. They're a lot bigger than red blood cells. And uh, they have a nucleus, uh, which stains a darker colour, as you can see here. Now, depending on the type of white blood cell, will depend on the sort of shape of the nucleus. Now, the best one, I think, to um, remember, really, uh, is the neutrophil. That's one that's often asked about. So a, a neutrophil will have what we call a lobed nucleus or a multi-lobed nucleus. You can see here uh, in that image, there's sort of three lobes uh, on that drawing. Uh, on the microscope image, uh, you can see that there's probably about four lobes in that one. And um, 
maybe about five in that one. So that's a key one to be able to recognise as a neutrophil. Uh, it's got multiple lobes uh, in the uh, nucleus. Okay. Now the other one that's uh, easy uh, to to find is the monocyte. That's often got a. It's quite a large white blood cell and it's got a big nucleus in there just one nucleus no lobes okay and you can see um, the uh, monocyte there in the uh, microscope image there so there's the monocyte um, don't need to worry too much about um, <clears throat> the other white blood cells but there's things called eosinophils, basophils okay they can be a bit difficult to identify so as long as you can identify a neutrophil with its multi-lobe nucleus i think that should be fine possibly then a monocyte as well okay um so functions of white blood cells are um they're really to provide protection from diseases uh, and each type of white blood cell does a slightly different role in protecting us from disease okay so that's really what you need to know about uh, blood cells. Okay, there we are. Short, uh, simple little video.